the flattened tool flattens a single or a selection of polygons. In this case I want to flatten one polygon, according to the normal and location of a second one. Select one face, then select the target face, and run the flatten tool. You can also press the E key, after you've opened the mesh machine menu. With the tool active, you can toggle dissolve via the D key. If enabled, dissolve gets rid of edges separating your polygons. You can change, whether the flattening happens along edges, or along the target face normal. To do so just scroll with the mouse wheel, or press the 1 and 2 keys, if you don't use a mouse. In this case it makes no difference what I choose. Let me demonstrate why, with the next example. I'm turning on face normals. The one that matters is the one of the currently selected face, going straight up. To help visualize this further, I'm also creating this helper object. This face, extruded vertically from an edge, is a reference to the vertical normal of the target face, moved to the location of the verts, that will be pushed up. In normal mode, it goes straight up because the target face normal does the same. In edge mode, flatten follows the edges connected to the face you are flattening. I'm going to flatten the n-gon cap of that partial fillet. Select the n-gon, followed by selecting the target face and then run the flatten tool. The normal mode is of no use in this example. This is the exact same example, except, it's just a single face. You can flatten single faces, by making a selection of exactly three vertices. Three vertices will always create a perfectly flat plane in space. And this plane's normal, is what is used for the flattening. In this example, I've created a Boolean union of two objects. You can use the flatten tool, to create a continuous surface across both forms. There's just some loose edges left to clean up. You can do the same to this face. Finally, the flattened tool can be very helpful in a situation like this, if you want to adjust the angle of the faces on the side of this wedge. Establish which three vertices should describe the face orientation, and adjust them accordingly. Then just run the flatten tool. I'm doing the same on the other side, but using a different vert. Flatten is a simple tool, but can be quite versatile. 